So I am now currently walking to the Opera House. That is my hotel just behind me there. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I am going to have a voice lesson and then I have later I have a coaching with the actual pianist as a rehearsal for the first round which is on Tuesday. Just two days from now. Sorry, I'm not really getting much of the park right now because I'm running late. I'll get more of this park afterwards. It's not terribly big, but it's nice. And uh, that is the Opera House. That is the beautiful Astana Opera House. It's pretty amazing. Okay. Okay, so... I just had to run back to the hotel because I forgot this. It's like my pass, my lanyard to get into the opera house. So, you know, security and all that stuff. And now I'm running back to the opera house for my voice lesson, which I am very late for now. I'm now alongside the opera house. We're moving now. I have to take the side entrance, that's like the artist entrance. But look at this thing. It is beautiful. I'll try and get a better shot of it later. All right. So, I uh, just finished my lesson. I am currently on the way back to the hotel to drop my stuff off because I have a little bit of time before my rehearsal. So I might go to this really cool mall that's right over there. I don't know if you could see that. But, I don't know, I might have no time, I have to see. You know, this little guy is doing well, this little skateboard that I brought with me. Uh, but, I really do wish I had brought my electric skateboard. I was being safe, you know, I didn't know what would happen with customs and stuff like that. But, uh, it probably would have been fine. Also, would have liked to have had my drone, because I feel like I get some really cool shots here. So, I haven't vlogged since the first day <clears throat> I was here. Yeah, that was the first day when I got here. And that's because I did mean to vlog. Um, the reason I didn't is because I just get, I get really, really neurotic. I get very neurotic when uh, it comes to these types of competitions, singing competitions, that kind of stuff. I thought I would be in the right mental state to vlog the whole time I was here, but I absolutely was not. A quick recap, uh, sang the quarterfinals, got through the quarterfinals to the semifinals, which was awesome. And honestly, I wasn't expecting anything when I got here. There's been a lot of singers, a lot of my friends who have done this competition in the past, who are incredible singers, better than I am, and haven't gotten past the first round. So I came here thinking, okay, I, I get to sing for these people because the panel is, ex is very prestigious. The panel of judges, I mean, they are very important people in the opera world. So I thought uh, at least I'll get to sing for some of these people and that'll be it. It'll be like a little audition hang out in Kazakhstan, I suppose, and then I'll go home. But I got through to the semifinals, so then I thought, okay, cool. So they liked me a little bit, and I'm in the semifinals, and uh, that's from 40 people in the quarterfinals down to 25, so that's cool. But still, I just kind of treated it as like, I get to sing for them again. I get to sing a different aria for them that they didn't hear before, and it's another audition. But then something awesome happened. Uh, I made it through the finals, and that's kind of a huge deal. It's a huge deal because this is a very important competition. It's very prestigious. There's only a few, very, there's very few competitions in the world that are kind of of this caliber. And the singers here are unbelievable. So to be picked to one, represent the United States in the finals, because I am the only American in the finals, and to be picked to sing with the orchestra here under the baton of Maestro Placido Domingo, who I've grown up, you know, he's a, he's a god in opera. You know, he's one of the greats. So. Uh, it's It's been incredible. It's been a whirlwind of, of emotion and shock, really. Uh, I feel shock is probably the best way to to uh, describe what I feel. I don't, I don't, I'm going into the finals today. I'm gonna try my best, just like I have all the other rounds. I'm not expecting anything. I'm not like, 
I'm not gonna get my hopes up. I'm just gonna go out on the stage. I'm gonna have a lot of fun. I get to sing with an orchestra. I get to do, I get to sing Largo, Largo al Factotum, uh, which is, you know, basically the most famous baritone aria in existence. If you don't know the song I'm talking about, it's the Bugs Bunny song. And hopefully you get, you'll understand. So yeah, I'm just gonna go out, have a little bit of fun, sing this aria with an orchestra for the first time ever, which is awesome. Being conducted by one of the greatest opera singers to ever live, which is also awesome. Uh, and you know, we'll see what happens. But either way, I've, I feel like at this point, I've really represented myself well. Uh, I've, done, I've done a good job, I think. I, I mean, I have, I've done a good job and I'm proud of that. Um, just so you know, so I could kind of put it in perspective how my brain has not been in a place to vlog. I, I mean, I'm, I'm a basket case in these scenarios because we had the first round and then the semifinalists were announced and then the second round happened. The next day, the semifinals happened and then the finalists were announced, we, and then we had two days of rehearsals, and now the finals. All throughout that time, just like to distract myself. See, the thing about vlogging, the thing about vlogging is this is a narrative of something I'm doing. I do try to make it not just a diary, because I feel like the vlogs like that are kind of boring. So I usually, it'll be like a narrative of one thing happening in that day, or if there's something I want to talk about or something like that. So in order to create a narrative out of a part of my day, I have to focus on that part of my day. And of course, when I'm at a big competition like this one, what am I gonna focus on? I'm gonna make a narrative out of the competition. But my head was so just enveloped with everything going on that in order to create a narrative about that, that would require me to dive even deeper into exactly what's going on, what the stakes are, what the pressure is, and that would've just drove me crazy. I would've lost it. Holding myself together without this was hard enough. And the level of vulnerability that goes along with vlogging would just add to that pressure. I love this, obviously I love vlogging, but like I just couldn't, I couldn't handle it. Now, since I'm in the finals, I feel like I'm a bit, I'm vindicated. I can, I can, I've, I've done a good job. I can relax a little bit more. I mean, I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna bring it on stage tonight, but you know, I've, I have, there's less ex explanation, I guess. You know, like if I, if I came and I sang in the first round and I didn't make it through, I felt like I would have to explain that to you guys and explain like, it's no big deal. It doesn't mean I'm a bad singer, which it doesn't. There's like ridiculous singers that come to this competition and don't get past the first round. I'm just lucky that they like me. And I, you know, it's all about like who, who the other talent that year that you're there and, and who, what they're looking for. You know, it's, it's all subjective. Competitions are all subject, subjective. So actually for you guys who are watching who are singers, young singers or whatever, if you do a competition or even an audition, it is all subjective. If you don't win the competition or get the job, there are plenty of jobs I've sung for so far and I'm still a young singer and competitions I've done where I have gotten zilch, nada, nothing. And it has, it has nothing to do with whether you're the best singer or not. It's, it's completely subjective because it's, it's their aesthetic. It's what they think the best singer is. And obviously the panel that makes up the Operalia panel are very, very, very important people with very refined ears that know singing. So, you know, yeah, it's, it's, def it's different with this type of competition because it is what it is. I feel like I'm rambling a little bit, but I'm gonna, I, I've eaten breakfast. I, try, I got up early today. Kind of relaxing, just chilling out in my in my hotel room here. See, that's the thing is through this whole week, if I wasn't singing, if I wasn't having like a coaching or a voice lesson or practicing or actually performing, I was either in the gym or in this hotel room just trying to relax, binge watching Netflix. I've literally watched like three different series. By the way, Ozarks, one of the best things I've ever seen on Netflix. Also, Bloodline, amazing. You guys should watch those shows unless you're not okay with like scary things because it's not, it's not like they're not comedies. Anyway, right now, uh, I'm going to go to the gym because I've, I have like two and change hours before I have to leave for the opera house. And then once I get to the opera house, I have another like hour to hang out. I'm just trying to keep everything calm, everything collected. No biggie, no big deal. Going to have a bit of fun. Going to warm up. Anyway, so uh, also I've only been to like one other gym here and it's just not worth going all the way over there. So I'm just gonna use a hotel gym. It's nothing special. It's a hotel gym. I'm gonna bring the small camera with me if I can find it. But if there's other people in there, I'm not gonna vlog it because that's uncomfortable and it's the gym. And as I've said before, it's a very private place and it's, a, it's like my dojo. So I wouldn't want somebody else doing that to me. But I will be bringing probably my small camera tonight because I don't know if nobody else here knows I vlog because I haven't been vlogging. So like to bring bring this big monster 
with me tonight would be kind of inappropriate, I feel. But I'll be bringing the small one with me. See, the thing is, I'm fifth out of 14 singers. So I'm pretty close to the beginning. So I'm not gonna vlog too much once it starts because I wanna get my head right. As I said, I'm not expecting anything. I'm not expecting to win. I'm not expecting to even place. Whatever happens, happens. I feel like I've done a really good job. I really represented myself. I've sung for some really important people. Anyway, also real quick, check out this view. I know I talked about this the first day I was here, but like for real, like that's the opera house. That's a big, beautiful park right between the hotel and the opera house. And then down here, there's a building with a gold side and like a castle-y type situation. It's a, it's, it's a very interesting city as far as like the layout and like the types of buildings. I feel like it's in a bit of a transition from like maybe a smaller city to, to something a bit more kind of glamorous maybe. So, um, yeah, working out to me, and like a lot of you guys know this, uh, exercise is a huge part of my life, but it's also, I realized that I actually just sing better, I feel better, I'm, everything is better whenever I work out. So, uh, yeah, that's why I'm making sure I get a workout before I head over there. Okay, so uh, like already kind of like do the tie and everything. Um, I'm heading out now. The uh, shuttle is gonna be here to get us in at just a few minutes. And uh, you know, it's game on, game time. Okay. All right, so you're now on the tiny camera, so I'm sorry about the lack of quality, but it's necessary. Um, I'm really excited, honestly. I'm nervous, but it's an excited nervous, you know? it's. It's, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Really, I don't know even what to say right now because I'm like in that zone I was talking about earlier where like it's hard to focus on anything else. So I'm like trying to. Okay, I'm literally going on now. I'm gonna put my jacket on and. Oh, hey. 